everyone, and welcome to Quick Pitch presented by Best Western Hotels and Resorts. I'm Taylor McGregor. We're going to start with the Baltimore Orioles. They have been nicknamed the Baby Birds, but maybe we should start calling them the Comeback Kids. On Wednesday, those kids erased a 5 to nothing deficit going into the sixth to eventually grab a W from the Red Sox. It was a charge that was led by Westberg, Kowser, and even Jackson Holiday pitched in. But listen, it wasn't just offensively. There were some really good defensive plays by the rookies as well. And when you talk about run prevention, you have to talk about Grayson Rodriguez, who's on the mound Thursday. So could those baby birds continue their winning ways? Bobby Wood Jr. is one heck of a shortstop, but is he the best shortstop in baseball? With performances like today, he certainly has a case. Highlights of Wood's wild afternoon when we return. Ladies and gentlemen, we officially have a Midwestern monarchy on our hands because the Royals are on the rise. Winners of six in a row entering Thursday. Kansas City is four games over 500 for the first time in nearly three years, outscoring their opponents 35 to 10. And listen, this is no fluke. They are hitting the ball hard, leading the American League in exit below. While their division is certainly no cakewalk with an arsenal like this, they will have quite the claim to an AL Central throne. If you have 11 hits in a game, it is a good day at the plate. The Royals, however, had 11 hits in one inning alone on Thursday in their win over the Astros. Kansas City scored nine runs in their first 11 base knocks. Those 11 hits are tied for the most in a single inning in franchise history. Kansas City will look to extend their win streak to eight games on Friday as they take on the Mets in Queens. And then J.P. Sears had all the tools in his toolbox working on Thursday, taking a no-hitter against the reigning champs into the late innings in Texas. But how far could he take it? Keep it here to find out. On paper, when you look at the Mets and Braves offenses, you would think it would be the Braves putting up a 16 spot on the Mets, but that's why we play the game. Highlights of the Mets' offensive explosion when we come back. To quick pitch presented by Best Western Hotels and Resorts. Our next stop is in Atlanta for the Braves and Mets, as seen on afternoon. Earlier this week, baseball celebrated the 50th anniversary of the great Hank Aaron hitting his 715th home run to break Babe Ruth's record. To commemorate the occasion, we asked Hank's granddaughter Emily to sit down with her grandmother, Hank's widow Billy, to talk about her memories of that historic night. Well, the comeback kids were at it again in our MLB Network showcase game. We'll take another look at the O's big night and hear from the guys who called the game after the break. Well, this Saturday on Play Ball, presented by Nike, Jason Hayward and the Los Angeles Dodgers crash a little league practice on the west side of Chicago at the Jason Hayward Baseball Academy. AJ Andrews catches up with Hayward, Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, and many other Dodgers stars. Check it out. Tonight, run it back here on Quick Pitch, and I'm running it back to Wednesday in San Diego. My pal Benji coming out and asking me to prom, but notice 2032 is the date, so don't worry, Benji. I have already cleared my calendar. I will be available for prom that year, everybody. It's going to be a lot of fun. You heard it here first, and we've had a lot of fun on Quick Pitch, so I hope you'd enjoyed every single moment with us. That's going to do it here for us on QP. Let's leave you with the best of Thursday around baseball.